and then we do this this life cycle of the holding we've added it we've edited it and at some point there's going to be a weeding project or a damaged material or a whatever reason to delete a holding in a lot of cases items are automatically deleted if they are damaged or lost and have been paid for so that's a nice thing we don't have to like have this um, constant communication from well it's good to have constant communication from circulation to tech services but it doesn't have to be about this the system automatically does that if those things have been damaged or lost and they've been paid for in full there are also call numbers that may have had multiple items um, attached to them but when that last item has been deleted then the call number is now considered empty and it will also be automatically deleted if however you are manually deleting and this is going to happen when there's that weeding project or that that item that came back and there was a question is this too damaged to keep it in the collection or not um, they can be manually deleted on an individual basis or in batches from multiple interfaces in item status you'll click on that um, actions menu after you've selected an item or items and select delete items same thing in the check-in screen you can do it from there um, I don't really have a recommendation on whether or not to use check-in but I will say for my own uh, workflows I prefer to not do this in the check-in screen because I tend to work too fast and when I work too fast I make mistakes and so I don't do any deleting from the check-in screen because I want to take a hot second and decide if my reasoning is sound and then I'll do it from the item status screen from the holdings view you have multiple things that you can do here whether it is to uh, delete items delete call numbers and items or uh, delete empty call numbers in case it hadn't been um, automatically deleted at a point item buckets you have the option to delete those selected items from the catalog and then again the same thing almost anywhere there is an action menu for items or copies items copies being about the same being the same thing not about the same thing so multiple places to do this make sure that where you're doing it from it matches what you want to do and your own personal style and uh, your personality in in my case I know that I tend to get ahead of myself so I need to slow myself down in some cases 